Good evening, everyone. Tonight we have five rack packs of 1987 Fleer Baseball. Obviously, we're looking for that Jamie Moyer rookie card, as well as, you know, Barry Bonds, Bo Jackson, Barry Larkin, etc., Will Clark, John Crook, you know, but really, you know, we want to pull that Jamie Moyer rookie card so Wheaties will shut up. Make sure, you know, I don't miss it this time. I don't want to hear him crying in the comments. We love you, Wheaties. But uh, with that being said, we'll take a look at the Beckett from back in the day. Tonight we have the August of 87 issue with Bo Jackson on the cover and his 87 Donruss rated rookie. All right, 87 Fleer, back in the day. Booking in $33 for the whole set. Uh, you see there, Boggs, Clemens, Bucket Wally Joyner rookie card there, $250. You know, Dan Plesak rookie there, hot at $0.45. Cents. Glenn Braggs. You know, taking back Joiner Canseco card. Really, all be you know because of Canseco because Joiner was a bust. So Corey Snyder there a dollar. God knows why. Eric Davis a buck. He was a hot one back then. You know those five tool stars. Uh, Ruben Sierra rookie card a buck twenty five. Pete and Cavilia dollar fifty. Canseco there second year two bucks. Bo Jackson rookie hot at two twenty five. Mattingly there two fifty. And you can see that's pretty much it. We got the Kevin Seitzer rookie there, two dollars. We got Wade Boggs, two bucks. Some of these highlight cards and All Star inserts, the Mattingly All Star, five bucks. But we don't care about those. That's pretty much it for back in the day. And now we'll take a look at Beckett, the currently. And then we got eighty-seven Fleer booking in at thirty bucks. So he lost three dollars in the last thirty-three years. 34 now. Ooh, it's 2021. All right, and you'll see here the list is pretty short. You got some of the stars, Hall of Famers there. Ruben Sierra, two bucks. Larkin, rookies, eight. Will Clark, rookie, three bucks. Bo Jackson, eight dollars. Uh, you got John Crook, two bucks. Jamie Moyer there, a hot one at two dollars. And then Barry Bonds, Mr. Royds himself at 12 bucks. So, like I said, pretty much we're looking for the Jamie Moyer rookie card. Maybe we'll get. You know, get one of those secondary cards like the, you know, the Bonds or the Bo Jackson, Barry Larkin, etc. I'll get these opened up off camera here, and I'll be back in a second, and we'll get to ripping. All right, we're back here. Wanted to spare you guys the pain of watching me open up these rack packs. Uh, I prefer these rack packs just because, I mean, they're sealed wax packs inside there, so... You know, for those of you like me who are a little concerned with opening up uh, older packs that aren't sealed makes me feel a little more comfortable so that's why i like getting these rack packs that have these sealed wax packs inside them which is just one extra step but with that being said let's go ahead and get started appreciate you guys joining and make sure you guys click that subscribe hit the notification icon etc this is one of my favorite sets from back in the day always love this design as well as 88 fleer definitely you know clean crisp design it worked. We got 15 packs total, so a little less than half a wax box. So we'll see what we can find. Got a Reynolds. Got a checklist. Lou Whitaker and Dave Parker. Hope everyone, like I said, is doing well. New Year. Hopefully it works out better than 2020 for pretty much everybody. Alright, Goose Gossage. Steve Carlton there. Will Clark rookie card. Not a bad one, even though I don't like Will Clark. A little, little off-center there, but still not bad. Frank Viola. Oh, there we go. Nice Barry Bonds rookie there. Nice pack. Mo money, mo money, mo money. You got a Bonds rookie and a Will Clark rookie. Definitely a hot one. So, so far so good. This is why I go for the rack packs. And you guarantee you get sealed packs, which it's definitely hard to come by. All right, we got one of those inserts now. Weed Boggs, All-Star. Okay, 
I hope we can keep this fire running here. Quisenberry, Sid Fernandez, Andres Galarraga, second year, I believe. And Cliff Johnson there at the end. Still looking for that elusive Jamie Moyer rookie card. Kat Herbeck, Petrie, Barry Jones, Lee Smith. Johnny Ray, Alfredo Griffin, that's a horrible cut. Look at that cut. Holy crap. Bobby Meacham, Joe Necro. Brother Phil recently passed away. Rest in peace to the Necro brothers. Of course, only one card going the same way as the sticker. You got Kurt Young. Willie Randolph, Paul Molitor. Yeah, Cal Daniels would have been a hot one back then. Jack Morris. Frank White. Wally Backman. A lot of people are hoping Wally Backman eventually will manage the Mets. Maybe they'll change now that the Mets got a new owner. We got Dwight Gooden All Star there. Dennis Eckersley is a Cub. Definitely an odd sight there. Roger Clemens. That's not a bad one. Greg Nettles. Mark Davis. Gary Gaetti. All right, so far doing pretty good. Can't complain. When you pull the Will Clark and a Bonds out of the same pack, it's always a good sign. Eddie Murray, Rick Sutcliffe, Tony Pena, you got Mike Maddox. Who do we have here? Magic Mets. After their miraculous win in 86. Just moving here. Dennis Eckersley. I've seen this pack before. Ah, same collation too. Oh, here we go. Another Clemens. Greg Nettles. And a lot of the same collation, looks like. Appreciate you guys hanging in there. This one shouldn't be too long of a rip. 15 packs, so... You can pick these up pretty cheap on eBay still. I think, you know, on average, you're going to pay like between $8 and $10 a rack pack. I think it's better to buy them in a lot or in bulk. But you can find some decent deals on them. Like I said, still definitely prefer these over just buying straight wax packs. Because, I mean, you can see these wax packs open pretty cleanly. And it wouldn't be too hard to reseal these. And that's just the part that worries me spend a lot of money on these cards because they've gone up in value and you got to worry about someone resealing them and you're getting a bunch of crap. Nice Nolan Ryan. Dave Kingman. Yvonne Calderon. Ron Guidry. But like I said, I always try to find these when I'm looking for 87 clear. Even 86 Flare 2 is just much better to get sealed wax packs out of the rack than buying just wax packs from a so-called sealed box or from an unsearched. I mean, I don't know why they always put, you know, unsearched on all listings and stuff. What are you going to put on there? Searched and think someone's going to buy them? I mean, what's the point of putting unsearched on there? That's just stupid to me, but... That's part of the problem with buying old wax is... You're really taking a gamble. One, on what you get. On two, it's a pack from the search. So, and now with the prices skyrocketing because of the, you know increased demand, now you got to worry about it even more because it's more of an incentive now for people to reseal it. You know, reseal these packs up and send them back out there.
Tommy John. All right, I got three packs left. Hitting our last rack pack. I think last time I opened these, I got just a Bonds too. Big bats at the first sack. Lynn Davis, Eddie Murray. National League best righties, Mike Scott, Mike Krukow. Tom Candiotti, Jeff Reardon. Who do we got here? Dave Clark, Greg Swindell. Ooh. Bill Swift, Tim Tuffle. Let's see what we can get in these last couple of packs. You know, West Stoppers. Hmm. Trey Beck. Kevin Mitchell. 4,000 strikeouts. Steve Carlton. Roy Lee Jackson. Mel Hall. Tim Wallach. Uh, what do we got here? Ralph Bryan, Jose Gonzalez, rookie. And Dave Steve. All right, last pack. Maybe we'll get that Jamie Moyer out of here. Well, Keith Hernandez, all-star. Rick Shue. We got 300 game winners, Don Sutton and Phil Necro. Al Nipper. Kevin McReynolds, Carlton Fisk, Guy Hoffman, Jim Dwyer, Bobby Thigpen, Bob Brenly, and Greg Gagne. All right, well, didn't get a Conseco, didn't get a Jamie Moyer, didn't get, you know, Barry Bonds and a Will Clark, so definitely will take that. Like I said, you know, I'm fine with, with not always, you know, hitting on everything just because at least I know these packs aren't searched, so that's the good thing. But I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next video.